If you're looking for a free email solution for your campaigns, your subscribers, forms, automations, and you're using WordPress, I have the solution for you. It's called MailPoet and they have a free version that I want to show you. So let's go check this out right now. So let me show you the free version of MailPoet and what you can do with it. Now, first thing you got to do is obviously open up WordPress and install the MailPoet plugin. All you have to do is jump into your WordPress section, go to plugins, add new plugin, search for MailPoet. And once you search for it, you're going to find this one. Install it, activate it. Make sure it's this one by MailPoet. Now, once you install it, it's going to enable your plugin to start using it and activate it. Now, what does the free plan actually give you? So this is what you're going to get with the free plan. You're going to have up to 1000 subscribers and you can send up to 5000 emails per month. That's for life or free. Now, for a lot of people, 1000 subscribers is more than enough. But if you jump over 1000, you'll have to pay the month to month payment. But like I said, a lot of people won't even reach 1000, which is the free version you're going to be using and you get automation, you get subscribers, you can send out emails with MailPoet. You don't need to pay for email hosting. You can use this to send out emails. Now, before I show you how to use MailPoet, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They have a great shared hosting plan that you can use. If you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description, and I'm going to show you an extra discount coupon code that I have. Now jump into the site, go to hosting, go to web hosting, and in web hosting, you're going to be able to view all their shared hosting plans. Now I recommend the business plan, but you can go into the lower limit or to a higher one. Now, if you choose this one, let's go ahead and add it to cart because I want to show you the coupon code. Once you're here, you want to select the amount of months that you want to pay in advance. Now, if you pay 48 months, you get the lowest price, the lowest renewal price. Plus, you don't have to worry for 48 months for any payments. Now, the total right now is $177 with 12, with 12 cents. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $159 with 41 cents. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, use my coupon code. Now, let's go over to my WordPress site where I have MailPoet installed. Now, you can go in through the setup process at the beginning, which is straightforward, but I'm going to show you how to actually use it. So first thing you want to take care of is creating a form. So once you have a form, we're going to be able to use these forms to embed it on our site. And if we want to use automations to send out emails, we can also create those emails. But let's get started with this one. Now, to create a brand new form, we're going to click on the plus button here. And you're going to be greeted with templates. You can use pop up templates. You can use site in templates, fixed bar below pages, other widgets, or just go ahead and start from blank. So if you just want a little box with a button, this is the way to go. Now, if you want to create something unique, also, that's the way to go. But if you want to use something that you have already here, for example, a fixed bar, which are pretty good, you can use this one. For example, I'll go ahead and select it. I can go ahead and modify the information here really quickly and easily. In each single element that I check, I have the option over here. So I got dimensions, typography and all that good stuff and the options for what it says here. So if it's not going to be 10%, it could be 15%. For example, I can change the style, like the colors, the font and all that stuff. But if I'm good to go as is, so I'm going to change this to 5%, 15% also. There we go. Let's go ahead and save this. Oh, the mailing list. Let me go ahead and select this one. Go ahead and save it. Let's go back. We have this one that's just been created, the welcome discount. So it's super easy to create one of these pop up forms, widgets, etc. And we can use these forms inside of our site. Also, if we want to add it there, which I'll show you later on. Now, for the automations, which I think it's fantastic if you have this, plus it's available in the free version. You don't have to pay anything else. You can use this. The only limits that you have, remember, it's the 1000 subscribers and sending out 5000 emails. Now, let's create a brand new automation and you're going to be greeted also with templates. So you got your templates for welcome new subscribers, welcome new WordPress users, welcome series for new use subscribers, welcome series for new WordPress users, etc. Let's welcome new subscribers. So if someone subscribes, this is a template. Someone's going to subscribe and it's going to trigger the automation. And in this case, wait a minute and it's going to send out an email. Let's go ahead and start building. This is fantastic when you want someone to subscribe and they're going to get a coupon for their first purchase, for example, and it's actually super easy. So this is going to be triggered when someone is added to a list. It could be any list or it could be a specific list or a series of lists. So for example, in this one, it's going to be the mailing list. And let's just say that one minute is just too low. Maybe you want to do hours, days, weeks, etc., depending what you want to use this for. So in this case, I'll leave it as a minute because if someone subscribes, we want them to use it in their first purchase. Okay. 
Then we have the email that we're going to use. So first off, you got to set up your send an email from email. You got to authenticate. So I'll show you that a little bit later in the settings. The subject for this, the preheader, I'll just say test for now. And then design the email. Okay, so we're going to design the email. Here it is. And we have several type of emails. You got newsletters, welcome emails, post notifications, etc. A bunch of them. So we'll do a welcome email. And you got several templates here. I'll just select this one, which is a real estate email. Again, we can go ahead and modify this with all the settings that you have here. I'm going to save and continue. Okay, so we now have the email and we're going to activate it. Let's go ahead and activate this. Boom, that's set to go. So when you add the form, when someone subscribes and it's based on this email list, it's going to trigger the automation just like that. I mean, that's super easy, right now. The next thing you want to do is create lists. So this way you can have a better organization of all the lists that you have. So for example, if you want to do a different list for pop up widget for the embed form, maybe one form is for subscribing. Another one is for contact, etc. Then you have different lists right here. You got segments again for organization, and then you want to set up your settings for the email sender. So you want to set up the email. In this case, this is my demo site. Set up your domain, authenticate it, and then you're good to go to send out emails. Like I said, you can use this to send out emails or you can use it with your own provider. Now, if you use their system, they have a really great, fantastic system. They don't like spam and they don't like people using spam. So if you do use spam, they're going to ban you. So this is a good thing because if you are doing everything legit and you're doing things right, this is the way to go. Now, if you have a use, if you want to use something else, go ahead and select other. Now, Let's just say that I want to use one of these forms that I've just created in one of my pages. So I'll go to pages and you can use this in Gutenberg or you can use an Elementor, Divi, etc. In this case, I'm going to show you, for example, an Elementor. I'm going to edit this home page and I'm going to edit. I'm going to add one of these forms that I've just created. For example, this is one of them. Let me go ahead and remove this for now. OK, and we're going to go over here. We're going to drop all the way down here. This is an Elementor. Go to WordPress and then you're going to find this one that says Mail poet form. OK, so I just added this form and then I have the option choose the form that I want to use. For example, I can use this one or I can use the next one. This is the one that you saw with the 15 percent. Here it is. And I can embed this. Now, what does this mean for you? If I just go ahead and update this. Go ahead and view it. Go all the way down here. And if I subscribe right here and I'll go ahead and do so. Save it. That email is going to be sent over to my subscriber list, and it's also going to trigger the automation in one minute. It's going to send out the email that we created. Now, to view all these emails, we're going to go back into our WordPress system and we're going to go into our mail put section and we're going to go into our subscribers and our subscribers. Here's the email that I've just got. Here we go. It's unconfirmed status and score unknown. And this is going to trigger the automation because it's in the list that's tied to that automation. Like I said, you can organize these to use them in different ways. Now you can also import emails and you can export the emails. Important thing that you need to know if you import emails, remember you can't spam people or else mail poet is going to ban you. That's what's going to happen. So don't do that. If you import, make sure that these are subscribers that actually subscribe to your list. And if you need to export this because you're going to switch to another provider, you can do so also. But it's super easy to use MailPoet to get started and start sending out emails. It's the way to go if you need something free. And if you're not going to jump that limit to 1000, where you're going you're gonna to stick with the free version. But if you're going to jump into the 1500, et cetera, you're going to jump into the paid plans. Now, don't forget that if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, remember I showed you this option, Hostinger, which is what I use for my shared hosting plans. So if you want to check it out, I do recommend you check out that link in the description. And that's a wrap.